the Lincolnshire Handicap Chase is next. It's another 0 to 120, but it's over three miles and five furlongs this time. We've got a pretty big field for it. On the top we've got El Casaida for Padre Hogan. Place the Duchess, Alex Cherry, Tuxford, Darren Thompson, Alexandra Cornwall, Padre Hogan, Fermion Freeze, David Robertson, Rose Tree, David Hooley, Velvet Sky, Craig Beckwith, Amanda, Matt Cooper, Classic Chance, Alex Cherry, Ironical Harold, Graham Clutterbuck, Stone Cold Steve Austin for Matt Cooper and Penelope Pitstop for Martin Leadham. So a field of 12 in this one. You can see it's a short run to the first and the first three come up pretty quick. And away they go. And they get to the first and they all get safely over to the other side of it with just about El Casaida in front. Short run to the second. It's there again all over, although the mistake there was by Alexandra Cornwall towards the back. As we get a look at them from the top of the stand. You see they're coming down to take the water jump. And hopefully they will take the shoot when it's the final way around. Otherwise, it's going to be the shortest run in the history of the world ever. But anyway, it's very and Freeze who's closest to us. I don't know why I'm laughing. I just can see it happening. That's all. El Casaida is in second. And Penelope Pitstops move through into third. With Rose Tree, place the Duchess also close up, looking towards the back. Amanda is now the back marker. And it's Fermi on freeze in front. From place the Duchess in the orange sleeves on the inside of Penelope Pitstop in third. Oh, Casaida is now wide on the track and just dropping back a little bit as they get over that next one. Another one that's struggling to go the, I say go the pace, they're going quite slow. But the one who's shuffled towards the back is Tuxford. As they get over the next Tuxford sounds like one of those TV detectives. I don't think he is though. I don't know what Tuxford is, but it's not like one of Darren Thompson's usual names. He's usually got lots of Spanish sounding names. He doesn't seem to have so many of them this season. He's run out of Spanish ideas or, or what, but they get over the sixth. And they're all safely over that. I'll probably find out now that Tuxford's a Spanish detective. Anyway. We're on Amanda at the moment. If you know what I mean. We get Fermi and Freeze clearing the lead. Continue to enjoy the thrills and spills of Jockey Camp. On the back of Amanda. Matt Cooper. So you know this one and over the fence they all go. Jumped it nicely. Short one to the next and again all over it okay. And again the next. All over that one already gone another circuit. See them over the water jump from the top of the stand. Cameraman enjoying playing with his buttons. We get some different views. So we see them racing all over the place and away from us and now from the inside of the track this time. So Fermi and Freeze has gone five or six lengths clear while we're doing all that. Stone Cold Steve Austin has moved through into second. Classic Chance is third. Melopy Pitstop is fourth. In place the Duchess and Alexandra Cornwall. El Casaida and Ironical Harold, then Amanda, who we were just riding with a minute ago, and then on her inside, Velvet Sky and Rose Tree, and finally, Chief Inspector Tuxford at the back. And it's Fermi and Freeze who's going to lead us into the 11th. Oh, safely over that one. And it's Stone Cold Steve Austin, a clear second, and Penelope Pitstop a clear third. To the next ditch of the lead has gone. Fermi and Freeze has gone and planted the jockey straight into the bottom of the fence. Gave him no chance at all of staying on board. And that's left Penelope Pitstop and Stone Cold Steve Austin disputing the lead. So over the 13th they go. It's the six million dollar man against the wacky races at the moment. Classic chances back in third. And Alexandra Cornwall. Detective Tuxford is getting closer. Place the Duchess is after that one. And ironical Harold. And at the back, Velvet Sky is the back marker. 
I'm going to be pit stop. It's about a neck up. And Stone Cold Steve Austin. We have the technology. Stone Cold Steve Austin back into fourth as Amanda now comes through to share the lead. Penelope pits up just kicking on again, but a little bit wide on my track, so I lose that lead on the turn. Over the 14th, and some really good jumps there. That's in place. The Duchess go into the lead as they take the 15th, and place the Duchess is now a length of the good from Amanda in second. Penelope pits up, drop back into third with El Casaida and Alexandra Cornwall up there as well. And they take this water jump then for hopefully the final time and <laughs> pass the winning post and hope for a complete circuit of the track and then hopefully coming up the chute and not jump in the water. The place the Duchess has gone five or six clear. Loose horse might cause one or two problems. With a chasing pack, Velvet Sky has come through into second. Penelope Pitstop is still there in third. El Casaida fourth. Tuxford is now on the case and getting much closer as well. Then Classic Chance after that one. Rose Tree up the inside. Then Alexandra Cornwall and Stone Cold Steve Austin and Amanda have all dropped right back. And then Ironical Harold, the back marker over that one. So heading towards the next. This is going to be the 19th of the 23. It's another ditch. And over it they all go. With place the Duchess in the lead. Tuxford second. Velvet Sky and Rose Tree. Then Alexandra Cornwall. Penelope Pitstop is after that one. Then Classic Chance after that. El Casaida is next. But Rose Tree's hit the front coming down towards the fourth last. Rose Tree landed in the lead from Alexandra Cornwall in second. Then comes Velvet Sky in third place. The Duchess four and Tuxford five. Penelope Pitstop starting to drop away. But it's Rose Tree by two lengths to Alexandra Cornwall in second. Then Velvet Sky is third. Tuxford four on play to Duchess 5 Penelope bit up after that then Classic Chance El Casaida Amanda trying to run on again Stone Cold Austin and Ironical Harold are beaten and it's Rose Tree who's now 2-3 to three clear of Alexandra Cornwall in second as they swing for home it's Rose Tree in front Alexandra Cornwall is in second Rose Tree's gone 3-4 to four clear Will she go the right way? Rose Tree in the lead. Four lengths clear. Five lengths clear. Coming down towards the third last fence. Then with a clear lead. Coming down to it now by four or five lengths into second goes Tuxford and Velvet Sky. The leader nearly went. Rose Tree nearly went then. Tuxford and Velvet Sky getting closer. Down towards the second last. Over it goes the leader. Rose Tree's over it in the lead. There's a furlong still to go. It's Rose Tree in the lead. Here comes Tuxford with a big challenge. Tuxford's coming to challenge over the final fence. They go. And Tuxford swoops into the lead. And Tuxford's got and crack the case. Spanish detective or not, Tuxford's going to win it up towards the line. Tuxford's going to take it for a fast finishing place. The Duchess is close with Rose Tree for second. Then came Amanda who ran on again. Or Radical Harold was pulled up at the last. They went the right way. Didn't jump the water at the end, which is good. And Tuxford gets up and takes it. Uh, Tuxford the winner then for Darren Thompson. Rose Tree second for David Hooley. Place the Duchess was third for Alex Cherry. And uh, fourth, I think fourth might have been Amanda. He was indeed Amanda for Matt Cooper was fourth with classic chance for Alex Cherry again. Back in fifth.